Once you have opened GenSet for teaching and learning, this is your start screen. As we are using a new set of data and you don't need to directly access the help files, you can minimise the startup page. On the menus, go to File, then Open. A list of available data will be displayed as per your default working directory. If you haven't already set your working directory, you may wish to view the earlier tutorial. In this instance, we are going to use the Excel file named Stem and Leaf. Before opening, a box will appear asking you which worksheet you wish to import. In this case, as we only have one column of data, we can just click Finish. A GenStat spreadsheet will appear containing your data. Click outside the spreadsheet to commit your data to the GenStat server. This can be done by clicking the left-hand pane or inside your output window. Should your output window not be visible, it will either be minimised or can be viewed by clicking the window tab at the bottom left hand side of your screen and selecting output. You can also use this window to view your data spreadsheet. The mean, maximum and minimum values of your data are automatically calculated and displayed in the output window. Now to create our stem and leaf. To create your stem and leaf diagram, go to the graphics menu and then click on stem and leaf. Double click on the data you wish to include from the options given in the left hand box titled available data, in this case C1. This will transfer the selected data into the box on the right hand side titled data. Once you have done this, click the run button. Your stem and leaf diagram is displayed at the bottom of the page. This includes a number count on the left of the diagram, which tells you the total number of units of individual data entered for that row. Above the diagram, you can find the identifier, the minimum values, the mean and the maximum values. This stem and leaf and its key can then be highlighted, copied and pasted into a Word document, where it can also be edited.